on record. We've started recording. So Ms. Shirley, how do you pronounce your last name? Bajwa. Bajwa? Right. Bajwa, are you, where are you from, this area? Louisiana, originally. Okay, okay, great. All right, so um, Shirley, when you heard about the, you know, that we would be getting thunderstorms overnight, were you concerned that your house would be flooded? I was very concerned when I heard it may be at least four inches because we've had water come in before, but not to the extent that it came in early this morning. The whole house flooded this time. Wow. And so walk me through everything. When you woke up this morning, what did you see? Well, actually, my brother knocked on the door and told me, he says, uh, sis, the house is flooding. So when I got up, uh, then there was water in my room, which, like I said, was unusual. That hadn't happened before. And I went to the hallway. There was water there. And uh, we went to the back room, and it was just coming in through there. Um, and then also, I tried to open the back door, and it just rushed in. I had to close the you know, back door back up, and um, the whole house flooded. Have you ever had the home flood or get a little bit of water in before, or this, this is the first time? It got a little water in before that would come in the back room, uh, but this is the first time that the whole house flooded. And we do have sandbags, but the sandbags didn't help this time. So do you have, uh, you know, flood insurance or any type of insurance that will kind of help offset some of this damage costs? Well, actually, the home is uh, rent to own. and. Um, the people that um, we're ready to own from, uh, they have sent people out to um, help clean up and um, they have blowers out. And um, so we do have water that's coming in again in the back room. So, uh, but they're here, they are helping. So that's a blessing in itself. So what are your thoughts as the water continues to rush in now that the rain is picking back up? Uh, it's time to move. <laughs> I was telling my brothers, it's time to move. We can't, um, we can't live like this. Um, I, you know, had to miss work today and, um, you know, to try to get things cleaned up. So, but it, it's time to go. Um, so then just, you know, have to find somewhere to live. So how long have I, you lived there? I've been here two years. Okay. So it's a nice community and a nice house, but it's just, yeah. I think what caught our attention this morning, Shirley, is that you're trying to sweep all of that water out of your home. And uh, it's just like you're, it's a never ending battle because it's trying to sweep water out of your entire house. Right, right. So um, I was getting more out and uh, my brothers and I were taking turns, you know, sweeping the water out and, uh, you know, getting the mop, trying to push it out. And um, we were able, you know, to get some out through the front door because, like I said, the back door was inaccessible. It, it was just, um, looked like a lake back there. When did you put the sandbags down? Uh, we put sandbags down before, uh, when it rained, um, about four inches. That was probably about, uh, a year ago. Okay. So and they've we, been, they just been back there in case you've needed right. them. Right. Okay. Uh, can you detail some of the damage costs? Did anything get ruined or destroyed? Well, the um, the floors are buckled up. Um, my furniture got wet, um, and the stuff that I had stored in the back room, you know, you know, got wet also. But um, all of that's replaceable. Uh, but I'm just looking forward to getting out of here and getting a house that doesn't flood. Right. Anything else you want to tell us or add um, that we haven't gone over? Um, I would like to thank you all you know, for your concern and uh, the concern of the community, my uh, my boss, my coworkers, I mean, they've called checking on me. My um, boss also, you know, offered to have her husband come help. I have a, uh, about to get emotional, a great work group. They're like my second family and uh, I, I'm just so grateful and so thankful. You're getting emotional because they came out to help or they just understand? They understand. It's just, you know, some people that you work with, they're just co-workers, but we're actually a family. So when something, you know, happens to one, we pull together and try to help, you know, and it's just, 
them being there for me and offering to do whatever they can. It just means the world to me. Yeah, I'm sure. My last question, Shirley, is how instrumental was uh, KSLA's weather app or just watching on air, uh, watching us to make sure that you did the right thing, prepared for the storm as much as you could? Well, um, I always tune into Channel 12 whenever, especially whenever there's going to be inclement weather. So, um, you know, we had advanced warning and um, you know, and, and that was very helpful. And I knew what to look out for and, uh, you know, the possibility of what could happen with all, the, you know, the, with all the rain. All right. Well, Shirley, I, I certainly want to thank you for taking time out of cleaning up all of that water to talk with me. Um, if you need to get back in touch, you can, uh, you know, shout out on email or uh, messenger. Uh, I hope you get it all cleaned up and everything is replaced. But like you said, everything is replaceable. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Also, let me stop this. Let me